had this patient with metastatic lung cancer and had a very interactive session with him about what was going on, um, about some of his goals. And he basically said, I want to I want to be home, I want to spend time with my family, and I want to be free from this burden in terms of the sim burden of symptoms, like shortness of breath. And we spoke a lot about that. And I basically said, well, you can be home. You can spend time with your family. And he says, no, my doctor won't let me. I gave his primary care a call. And we started having a conversation about what was going on medically and then what some of his wishes were. And his primary care doctor says, no, 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 that's not what he wants. And, and so my reaction was, um, well, I just had this discussion. Can you, can you tell me more? And his response was, well, I had a discussion with him already, and, and he basically wants everything. And I said, if you don't mind, um, would you be able to sort of just tell me about your conversation, what conversation you had? And so he sort of backtracked a bit and said, well, maybe it wasn't the best way to phrase it, but I asked him if, if it came down to it and you were gonna live or die, what would you want? That was his goals of care discussion. And that's when I realized that we have to do a lot more in terms of education for not only patients, but clinicians.